What is up you guys? It is your girl Feed on Speed and I know I haven't seen you guys in a minute. It's because Colorado has been stormy for literally a month straight and it sucks. But you know what? We finally got a day that's good. So we are out. It's actually Father's Day today. So um, happy Father's Day to all those daddies out there. <laughs> oh, that's a cool the rock shop. Um, yeah, whether your kid is a human or a pet, because, I mean, I, I still consider you dads because I call myself a cat mom, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, wait, before I go any farther, I did change the settings on my camera, so hopefully, I don't know, it looks a little better. I changed the frames per second. Um, I also put on the protein because I've never seen a like I've never had it on my other camera So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna try it and see how it is. So if it sucks, well, we won't do it again But we will still put the video out there. I also noticed that when I'm filming I always say like anyway or so and I don't really know a good way to like continue a sentence like what would you guys say I just like, feel like anyway is just continuing because sometimes I get distracted you know <laughs> so I feel like that's the only way to continue it after I just like went off on a random tangent <laughs> or I say but a lot but and so anyway <laughs> oh well whatever and here I am about to say it again. <laughs> I'm part of a Facebook group for riders here in Colorado. And someone actually put up a post saying, what do you guys define a biker as? And what do you define a rider as? And uh, which one do you... <laughs> which one do you define yourself as? And I was like, huh. That's a good question. That's a cool pic like, spot to take a picture. And I was like, you know, honestly, I think I would consider myself a rider because it seemed the consensus for defining a biker was someone, what the heck? That's definitely a stolen bike. There's actually has been a lot of stolen bikes in the spring. So sorry, getting distracted. They defined a biker as someone who joined the scene purely out of whether it's like friendship or clubs and whatnot. So they don't really, oh my gosh. <laughs> they don't really ride a lot. Um, they're just more like the weekend warrior, fair weather fair weather riders, you know? Oh, we'll let him go. It's turning red anyway. So, I mean, not to be discriminatory, but they defined most, like, it's someone who's basically a Harley rider. <laughs> not saying all Harley riders are called bikers, or would be defined as bikers, you know? Um, and then, because there's, there's some sport bike riders who are like that too, who only ride with people and who only ride on the weekends and who only ride with friends. Then they define a, a rider as someone who enjoys just putting miles on the bike. Uh, no matter the weather, no matter the bike, they just, they just love being on motorcycles something like that you know what I mean and like I said that's why I would consider myself a writer because I don't need friends I would love to make friends I have made a friend so that's pretty fun do you guys see all this what is that pollen the thing I'm not allergic to that stuff I'm allergic to like dog hair <laughs> Someone also said, hey, you should like make a category for squids. And I was like, eh, squids could be either riders or bikers. But then again, I think if you think about it, I feel like 
more squids are bikers because if we're like defining them as kind of like Harley people, then yeah, Harley people, I see a lot of them, a lot of them squidding. Well, mainly not wearing any helmets, you know? And, uh, that, that is one thing I can't deal with. I mean, you guys already know my stance on that kind of stuff. I just can't ride with someone without a helmet. Can't do it, won't do it. You definitely need a helmet. Nor will I ever date anyone or marry anyone who doesn't wear a helmet while riding. I mean, if they're into riding. I don't know. <laughs> I literally have no idea where I am going. To continue the conversation of biker or rider, I'm sorry. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Hopefully there was no cops behind me. I don't think so. They would have lit me up already. Would you consider yourself a biker or a rider? Do you even think there's a difference between a biker and a rider? And what do you define as a biker or a rider? You know? There was also one guy his comment was like, oh, um, I just call myself a rider because if I say biker, it sounds like I ride bicycles. <laughs> which is, which is a fair enough argument. Oh, I know you guys are also probably wondering where the FC09 video is. Um, I'm being very picky about the footage because I kind of fucked up the talking. <laughs> so, you know, I just... I want it to be good and I have to get 40 minutes down to like 10 because I feel like that's a decent, you know, that's a, I'm straddling the line of how long people pay attention, especially with like no talking. So it's, it's a work in progress, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know if I rent it again. I'm thinking of renting it again because like I said, honestly, it was pretty fun. I liked it. I liked it a lot. But like I said, I'm trying not to have you guys stare at the same scenery for that long. So I'm trying to splice it up and in kind of a coherent kind of video. So that way you'll actually engage with it. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have also noticed that I've been doing a lot of shorts and reels just like on Instagram and YouTube. I think I kind of cracked the code on what helped me break my plateau of followers because I was like sitting at a steady, like on YouTube, I was sitting at a steady 1,200 and on Instagram I was sitting at like a steady 930. And I mean, I know it's in partly due to because I was, you know, I was not uploading. I didn't have a bike to upload with. So there's that. But then like after I came back, the growth was still kind of plateaued. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try these wheels. I think I even asked you guys on the store one time and I was like, are reels and shorts the move? But yeah, I had mixed reviews on people telling me about shorts and reels uh, a lot of people said they didn't really care for it like it's more the younger generation that uh, has a short attention span <laughs> which I mean I kind of get uh, but like a lot of the older generation which I think is most of my audience I mean I wouldn't call you guys oh don't get me wrong because I'm 29 but like, I, let's say 25-ish to like 35-ish. I think that's my biggest uh, age group of watchers. Uh, and you guys really like the long videos. So like I said, I'm not gonna stop making long videos. I love making long videos because they're like a time capsule of moments in my life and phases in my life. So I think it'd be cool to look back on that, you know? But the reels and shorts really, really helped grow my uh, following. I went from a steady 930 to 
thousand twenty on Instagram, so I was really excited to break that. And on YouTube, I think I'm almost I'm almost at a thousand three hundred, which is also really exciting. And my watch time definitely has went up. So I appreciate that because to get monetized, you have to get like a big amount. I think it's four thousand for long videos. 4,000 hours and then for shorts I think it's like 10,000 hours yeah it's something crazy so but I will take hours either way which is why I'm still uploading both <laughs> oh man I think though I'm gonna cut this video short because I am gonna enjoy the sunny day I'm not even sure how long this is gonna last although look at the sky and the clouds not much clouds in the sky, which is great. Oh, but you know me, I also want to go uh, fishing for some people. That's a cool park though. I wonder if I could get up there with the bike. Ooh, I think I can. But yeah, so, um, and I'm sure you guys don't want to like hear me talk about my YouTube stats. <laughs> Why are you slowing down? Which is fine. Which is fine. I think it's pretty interesting though. Oh my god, I ended up at Fountain. That is crazy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you had a good Father's Day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Of course, we got a red light. <laughs> Perfect timing, bro.